apiece in the last third of the season. And Kyle mentioned Simon Benoit, who is in the starting lineup after a surprise scratch. Leafs unveil this new three-pronged offensive attack tonight. Nylander gets it to Holmberg. He's got knives, and that's blocked away by Montembeau. And now Benoit looking across, and that's picked off by Caulfield near the end of a shift, and it's Suzuki inside the line, playing it across. Here come the game. It's a bullet. Caulfield stopped as Samsonov. Slavkovsky with the drop pass across. Matheson with the soft one across as Caulfield was in tight and taken care of. Tried to go up and over the shoulder, just got a little high. There's a faceoff one by Evans. Go to save it. Put it on the rebound. Stopped by Samsonov. Anderson is up with it. Clean on a faceoff that gives a scoring chance like this. Through the legs of Labushkin. That was a harder save for Samsonov because watch that. It kind of went right through his defenseman's leg and. Pops out and right back in comes Max Domi, the former Canadian. In fact, the last Canadian with over 70 points until Nick Suzuki does a tip by Matthews on goal. Round to the near side for Domi. Bumped there by Slavkovsky and they puck out to center. Benoit on the left flank in his 400th game. Bertuzzi unable to make the play and it goes to Suzuki the three. Here comes Nylander, left side for Nyes, through to Holmberg, throws that on goal, and Montebo makes sure a rebound's not available. Marty St. Louis most comfortable with the defensive, almost defensively yeah, as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a bonus though. I, I mean, that is something you gotta be proud of. There's a chance! A quick pad stop by Samsonov. Oh, was, they put some pressure on the Leafs four on it so far. Sheldon Keefe thought this was his best line. First period against Tampa. Chance here. And that'll be stopped by Montebo. Toronto territory won by Suzuki. Here's a pass in front of backhand. Samsonov. There was another stop off Nick Suzuki. Slavkovsky lost it. McMahon turns in. Here's a pass for Riley in his shot block. Still loose in front. Bobby McMahon. That's turned aside. Seven games. You remember, even Mitch Marner at 99 points right. didn't play the last game of, of last year. So who knows what will happen down this stretch? And the key is unable to get it to the point, and Armia sends it to center, picked off there by Riley. Back in comes Morgan Riley, and it comes around for Matthews. He let it go for Labouche. Good shot. Scores. Ticket was all the way. Labouche's goal which would be his first of the year. Tipped by Domi okay. in front. No, I, Domi, Domi does get him. Yeah, he had good position there. Third deep pair for the Canadians, and the Canadians unable to get it out. Now you've got a tired group all the way along. Labushkin with his head up, and there's Domi on the doorstep. And that's just an exhausted deep pair that is trying to get off, and you can see Struble just a little bit late. The turnover happened. They didn't collapse back. That one goes past him. Here's Domi with his first in 12, his ninth of the year. Leafs get the icebreaker here early in the second period, looking for more for Tuesday. Matthews one of the best scores! It's 64! And how many more for Austin Matthews? Well, right on the attack and Again, winning the little puck battles and Matthews that he's done numerous times from this side is just get it to the front of the net. He misses it the first time, but watch the leg of Savard as he's trying to box out on the other side to take away Domi. Domi's looking for a tap in and Matthews quickly gets around Matheson and off the skate of Savard and bang, just like that. It's a two nothing game. So Bertuzzi draws the assist, the goals come. 17 seconds apart. Here's Nylander on it. Sends it back across. A chance for Brody. Couldn't pull the trigger. Giordano gets it back to Brody. Nylander from distance. The rebound. Scores. Matthew Nyes. And it's 96 points for William Nylander. Right on the doorstep. Nyes gets to the front of the net. Get this rebound to a safe area. You can see. You got a two-on-one down in front of the net. Now you get a trade-off where both Leafs get on the inside. Harris doesn't isn't able to 
spin quick enough with knives, and this is what you do best. Quick little spin, no chance for Montembeau. And as you said, off the shot there of Nylander will give him. Well, you didn't need to see the drop of the puck to know what was going to happen here. It looked like Pizzetta was going to go initially, but now drops him and Reeves, who had a heavyweight tilt with Tanner Janot on Wednesday night, right back to work here against Pizzetta in response to that hit. And Pizzetta in tough there. Well, you knew that was coming. And Reed sends a message to the rest of the bench as well. Just five each, so no extra. On to the right side for the captain. Lays it down into Toronto Ace. McKee is there. That came out in front, and McMahon starts back the other way. Marner on the right side. McMahon to the net. Scores! Marner to McMahon, and it's 4 nothing. Maple Leafs. In the first period, honestly, none of the lines maybe except the Matthews one really looked all that effective. Well, here all of a sudden in this second period, you've got line one, two, and three all getting involved. And, and there's a great example of what Marner's able to do perfectly laid out there in front just underneath the glove. And that's chirping on the bench. You could see, see David Camp back on the ice. I think that's the first shift for him since they hit by Pizzetta, Mazzis and Dabble, Slavkovsky across, scores, Nick Suzuki, power play goal. Three for the captain. Wow, what a play by Slavkovsky here, though. Feels the pressure, knows he has either Caulfield in front or far to the other side, the one-time option. I'm not sure if he was trying to hit Caulfield. Look at see the lift of the stick. But how about the adjustment by Suzuki? Gets down on one knee. Ten minutes of the second period. Maybe a chance here for Newhook. And Samsonov read it and closed that down. A pad saved by Samsonov. Matheson across. He'll crisscross with Barron. Matheson's on the move. With Matheson in front. Scores! from the top and just a determined shift here and it's Matheson coming in from the point that really makes this different. You know, anytime you get movement at the top, you could see a defender and a centerman chasing the same guy who happens to be a defenseman behind the net. That just can't happen. And the recipient on the doorstep. Chris, these are the games come playoff time that you have to bring to the finish line. And you go back recently, Two goal lead to Carolina went away. Even the Edmonton five nothing lead in the Florida. Third. Florida same. So Mark Giordano will take over. Wraps it around. That's cut by Suzuki across. Anderson falls. Matheson takes over. Suzuki and that's stopped by Samsonov as Suzuki pulls it in front. Able to get there. Then Matheson give and go. A bouncing puck. Suzuki can't opportunity with Suzuki. Now Matthews has got it, swings it wide of the net. Morgan Riley moves up. And that's it brought off for Tuzzi. A centering pass picked off. That one just missed Anderson with a big hit. Dewar off the boards and out, and Reeves heading after. Comes up with it by Reeves by Primo. TJ Brody to Matthews, three minutes to go here in the third. Domi was in behind, no icing on the play. And a big play. Domi comes up with a puck. Here's Matthews. Pops a post. 4-2 game. It's Domi to Matthews again. The reach back, the quick release off the post. And to the Canadians get it back again. And that's off the skeet to Suzuki. Kick back to the line. Matthews to the cross. And Slipkowski fanned on that one. Tucker Frog. Bunted wide of the net by Newhook. Canadians come close. Another play to the line. And the Maple Leafs will move to 97 points on the year.
as they have capped a regular season sweep of their Montreal rivals.